It has been a crazy past two days. We got some good news to follow the bad news that happened in the last couple days or whatnot. I'm a little behind on this and, and I meant to do this uh, sooner, but to be honest, I actually didn't realize until the very last second. I didn't know that this was what was going on. I had gotten this email right here and saying pretty much that the Judas Priest uh, 50 Metal years was postponed. So I didn't think too much of it. I'm like, oh, probably just got postponed. Then I looked on my Discord, which uh, shout out to Rusty for bringing this to my attention. Sabaton had released this uh, statement where which said our tour mate and friend Richie in Judas Priest just had a major medical heart condition issue. Uh, we are all shocked and sad and we wish him a speedy recovery. We will update you all once we know more about what happened. An official statement from Judas Priest is here below, which it says, it is our deep regret that we have to postpone the rest of our U.S. tour. Richie has major medical heart condition issues, which had landed him in the hospital where he is being treated. In the meantime, we are all sending love to our Falcon to wish him a speedy recovery. As soon as we have the updates from the doctors on when they can reschedule the dates, we will, of course, announce them. Tickets will be valid. This is another article by um, Guitar World and Blabbermouth. Uh, that's where I grabbed these articles from. If Jesus Priest has postponed remainder of the uh, current U.S. tour as guitarist Richie uh, Faulkner is experiencing major medical heart condition issues. Today is when I found out that he had a 10-hour open heart surgery. That is scary. Can't imagine having heart surgery. I mean, I'm freaking out about surgery I have to get tomorrow, and I can't even imagine heart surgery on top of that. Sabaton also announced later on, most people have already seen the horrible news of Richie Faulkner, Judas Priest guitar player, and the reasons why the amazing tour we had going with Judas Priest will not continue. We feel that we are definitely not ready to go home just yet, and since we are already in Denver and there is miraculously a venue that is available for us, with such short notice, we are able to do one last show before returning home to Sweden. Man, I'm sad for multiple reasons. I'm sad that he's going through the heart surgery, uh, that Faulkner's going through that. And I'm sad because now I can't go to the Sabaton concert. And, um, yeah, it just sucks. It really sucks. Ugh, I, I just can't imagine. I just can't imagine. It's just like, oof. Sorry. Just not being able to play scary thing we'll play this one final show for 2021 the great tour and it will be nothing like a normal show this time there will be only a sabaton performing and we are totally free to play as long as we can which we will so that's really awesome that they're going to try to play one last show for anyone attending, prepare to be surprised about the set list. If uh, you're in Denver right now, and if you're watching this, go watch them. Go see them. Uh, the tickets are $50. They're going to give away a free shirt along with the ticket as uh, the stock lasts. With this, we thank a Judas Priest, all fantastic fans in the United States, and wish Richie a speedy recovery. So, and this is the 29th, and this is going to be over in Denver, like I just mentioned, on 935 East Colfax Avenue at the... I get in the theater. And then furthermore, you know, Jesus Priest had released something about him going into the 10 hour open heart surgery after the heart attack. So he had a heart attack. He uh, reportedly underwent um, 10 hour open heart surgery after suffering a heart attack following the band's performance at the Louder Than Life Festival in uh, Louisville, Kentucky on Sunday, September 26th. The British heavy metal legends announced on Monday, September 25th, that they were postponing the remainder of their U.S. tour so that Faulkner uh, could be treated. For a heart condition the following day, his girlfriend Mariah Lynch, daughter of former Dokken guitarist George Lynch, said that Richie was stable and resting. A little bit of good news afterwards. Sucks that he went through it in the first place, but at least he's he's stable and he's rending um, after undergoing that you know that major emergency heart, emergency heart surgery. Luckily, they got to him fast enough, right? Dicotic wishes them a speedy recovery. Stay awesome, everyone.